dead uncle tatic tekikis kind of whatever the fuck that was saying where the hell are we thank you fine captain my captain oh van horn trading post okay okay that's what i thought Oh no, the coughing again. New weapons are available. Look at the, the shady bells. Now will my trusty white horse be there? Let's see what, what's going on here. Where am I wanted? Nowhere. I'm not wanted anywhere. But I have to ride all the way over here though. You know what I'm saying? Fuck is this again? Oh yeah, it's a fort of some kind. Ow. Okay. Easy now. Yeah, we're all gone. Anybody here? Hello? Anyone here? Except for drunkards. You here? Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed <clears throat> yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Le Cay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Mm -hmm. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Someone is here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Oh, sure damn. Someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around and see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley. I look like I'm doing Gentlemen, terrible. Be careful. How the fuck did they get up so quickly? All right, nice and slowly. Horse, where the fuck did you go? Jeez, okay, yeah. you have to park so far away? Run, horse, run! Or gallop away, or gallop! That was a short, uh, short scene. Thank you. 
Hello? Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, you're alive! Just about. Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. You. Fleeting joy. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. Uh, howdy. Thank God got food here. That's so good. So good indeed. -er. Okay. Oh look, I'm dressed all pretty again. Find each other. What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Boss, <laughs> Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't. Over. God damn it. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. <laughs> Shit. Give me a drink or something. It's your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the God damn it, fucking agency. already. On behalf oh, of Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government. And the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Everyone, get down! Stay down, Go, 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 go. No, no rest for the wicked, I guess. I'm trying, I'm trying. I only have one gun. Where are we going? This way. There's a trap door into the other house. We can try to flank them. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get up here. Where are you going to run to now? Okay. Take the other side. You mistook it for Why weakness. Have now I will show strength and you may mistake it for brutality. There is no escape for any of you. I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time. This I killed your friends. Really Start to irritate me. Come on, shoot this son bitch. Where's that mill? Where's that fucking Milton? Get out of my way, jerk ass, because this is going down. Is 
Was that Bill? I guess it was. I'm sorry, Bill. I thought you were somebody else. Got the shit gun again. Come on. You're dead. That's not good. There you go, we got him. Dead. I got him, I got him, don't worry, I got him. Alright, we're still alive, we're still alive. <sighs> hey Dutch, nice helping you, eh? You saved us, Arthur. Oh man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. <laughs> now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some... Goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you gonna do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Mesa. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him. Break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. God damn okay. it, John. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million Avenue. Okay. Man, I do not look good in this. <laughs> Arthur looked like he's fucking seen a ghost all the time. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. <laughs> whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. Oh, did I find my horse? Did I find my horse and all my guns and shit? Hello, coconut. Okay. <coughs> Arthur, what are you doing? Oh, he's coughing up blood. That's not good.
Why are you dragging me? Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? I think I, I don't know. Are you okay, Mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Can you help me out here? I, I... Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. Am I gonna lose my organs? <laughs> Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'll be fine in a minute. Uh, all right, all right. Nearly there, just around this corner. Take me to a place to give my organs. Hey, you head in there, friend. Go on. Doctor, okay, that seems fine. A fork in the road. Please help. Can I help you? I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Do I look like I have a second? Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <laughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm Sit sorry. down. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them, and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Jesus Christ, I look very bad. Again? Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> Let me take this stick and just throw it in the garbage here. <laughs> what is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. <laughs> you got tuberculosis. Ah. Uh. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. No medication you can yeah, give me? No, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that thing. <sighs> Mart, I'm already in heaven. Where the fuck am I? What am I? Am I dead? What the fuck's going on? I must be dead already. What, what's going on? Hello? That's a no bueno. Am I going somewhere? You have it in you, I can tell. Oh, leave the area, okay, whatever. I can't run, so this is gonna take a while.
Goddamn. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I think of you often. This is the end. The end of time. I don't remember the song. I'm sorry. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. Hosea. Oh my god, Hosea. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Where the hell am I going? What the fuck am I seeing here? I must be dead. What kind of fucking drugs did he give me? Yeah, I guess I'll be a, I'll be good for a while here. Problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in. Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems. I don't know. Seems as. What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Grabbed the morgue and buried them together. Let's go, coconut. Follow me. Yeah. Steady pace. Oh, we galloping now. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a God hot damn air it. balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Goddamn. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Do you need the goggles? Now. If you need goggles, do I need goggles? These on. Okay. And hop in. Everything makes sense. Well, is she coming? Ah. Well, women <laughs> can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. What? I thought everyone knew about that. Why a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Oh, dear God, you don't Pull say that rope. before we go. <clears throat> Hope for the best. Ah. You boys have Why am I driving? How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Why am I driving? I'm not the. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. 
It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Where the fuck are we going? Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the are you, are you serious? It really is stunning up there. I feel, have seen nothing I feel like, like the it. basket should be higher than my waist. <laughs> I would not feel secure whatsoever on this. Westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. So long as we're not crashing and dying, I'll be fine. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child. But operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn. Oh, the dear God, we have plenty of those. She did, did she? Nice and slowly. Do you have enough gas for this thing? Ah, that's better. Look, we can see from my. Now. Author and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. Italian eight? My brother's called Valvasario, so you could say I got off light. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket. Oh, here, dear God, no. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. At some point, he's going to tell me, okay, I think we went far enough. You should turn around. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of. Aviation. I didn't exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd survive. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire <laughs> on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they yes, say. Yes, yes, indeed. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? <laughs> I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Ooh, Sisica. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Is he right over here? Okay, this is where I'm landing, or...? Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you That's know. That's not him. Best try another spot. 
You look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? Looks like him. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Oh, shit. Ah, my God! What are you doing? You're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! This is absolutely insane. Calm down, calm down. You're gonna die, right? Ah! The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Yeah, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Got a little too close for comfort here. <clears throat> All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> we did it. We survived. Ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, safe! Up here! You're just in time! Shit, they're all traces. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. What a day! Oh, what happened? Hey, Shade! Up there! You're just in time! Shit! They're all tricks! This is Adler! There you go! Anybody else? Yes, she does. That's you show them, Mr. Morgan. I think, we're, I think she's good. I think she's good. Got him. Did I get him? No. God damn it, why don't you reload? Well, this is harder than it looks, my friend. Come on. Got him. Oh. Well, I guess we just made ourselves a balloon here. I'm not even close. Got him. Let's go. That is a weird escape plan right here. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Not the best escape plan, but. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Soft landing. Did you break your neck? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Uh, <coughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Well, of course. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls. You can't leave it for one day. Just kill these sons of I'm trying, I'm trying. Got him. Right in the gut. Right in the gut. Right in the gut. God damn it. We got more out of the woods there. Jesus Christ. Speak English? I don't know what you just said. You sound bitch, you moved. Oh, come on. Horrible. Think when you think you get him. Got him. Come on! Let's move up and finish these bastards! <laughs> Nearly there! Only a few of them left! I've killed better than you! Come on. Peek! Jeez. What the hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. <laughs> Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up. Yeah, right no now. kidding. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields, yes, that we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. That's it's a weak just whistle. the two of us go. <laughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing.
Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, bro. I heard that. Beep, beep, beep.